Uh, flipping the question I asked John around to the women's side, Chad, how many Big 12 Ooh. teams make the NCAA tournament on the women's side? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a tough question. You've got – actually, um, it is – a bit of an unusual week, I believe, because I think you've got more women's teams ranked from the Big 12 than men's teams, right? There's four there's four men's teams ranked. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the women have Kansas State, Oklahoma, Iowa State, Baylor, and Texas. So they got five women's teams ranked and, and four men's teams ranked, which is – and I think – those five women's teams that are ranked are probably your five that, that really have a shot. Kansas is getting a vote or Kansas got one vote from somebody somewhere uh, for the top 25. But, um, you know, the other five look solid. Kansas State, uh, I voted. I think I mentioned last week, I voted them 16 a couple of weeks ago and just got a lot of love from Kansas State fans. And then, uh, and then they fell out of the poll last week, even though I, I still had them at like 18 or 19. And I got them back up to 17 this week. But they, they've got, gosh, one of the most dominant players in the country and, and good role players around her. They, they showed up against Baylor, how good those role players could be. But, I, Bryce, you were talking about a little while ago, a Yoko Lee scoring 61 points. Unbelievable. Uh, on Sunday. Yeah. In a in a crazy sports weekend, obviously the NFL is going to dominate the the conversation always. But um, but she her her performance gets a little overlooked. But sixty one, it's a it's an NCAA record. Um, and John, you were mentioning earlier, it makes you wonder. You know, what's the most you've covered, uh, Chad? What what's that question answer for you? Can you remember? The, the highest scoring output you've ever covered? Well, I mean, you're going to roll your eyes. It's a Red Raider, of course. Uh, I saw Rayford Young go off against Kansas back in, I think, 1990. Or no, no, in 2000. He scored um, – I, I want to say he scored 48 uh, against Kansas. And, of course, Cheryl Swoops. I can't remember what the numbers were on that one, but Cheryl Swoops had, you know, like around a 50-point game. Yeah, mine was uh, Jackie Styles, uh, late '90s against Baylor, 54, and she it's capped 54? it with a four. Yes, mention that. Yes, and uh, she capped it with a four-point play. Yeah, <laughs> to win the game, right? Yes, at a, at a free throw. <laughs> yeah, that that I remember. I was at the trip at the time, and uh, you know, you guys know I like to play a little pickup ball. Um, <laughs> After uh, after that game uh, by Jackie Styles, that performance, uh, we were playing pickup ball like the next day or something, and uh, and all the guys out there were going, Jackie Styles, Jackie Styles. Every, <laughs> every time they shoot, you know. <laughs> I was out there, Bryce. Yeah, good that stuff. Was fun. Yeah, um, I uh, I had to think about this a little bit, but um, Brittany Griner scored fifty on senior day, um, including uh, at least one dunk. Um, and that one, uh, I think, might be the answer to the question. I think I've seen um, – I might have seen 51 on the high school level, too. Okay. Um, I want to say Haley Abbey went for 51, the former Robinson girl. But wow. I, I, may be, uh, I may be blowing smoke there. I don't know. Um, the old the old mind gets bad after a while, right, John? Well, <laughs> it doesn't take. I mean, right. I, that Rayford Young game that I thought was forty eight was actually thirty two. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's a little off, Chad. It was it was it was way off. But the Cheryl Swoops game against Texas at Reading Arena, she scored fifty three. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh... <laughs> We'll, we'll wait, be back. We'll be back wait, before we finish. Though, okay. okay. I, I just have to say this to get it out there. Right. I, I voted NC state number one this week. Yeah. I'm the only person that doesn't have South Carolina at number one, but here's the reason why I didn't have South Carolina at number one last week. I had Louisville at number one. Well, NC state beat Louisville, South Carolina didn't play. So I flipped NC state to number one, you know, because they did something deserving of the number one ranking. Right. And I also have Kansas State, like I said, 17. 
uh, where they, I think they're actually at number 25, which I have them a lot higher than most people. But uh, that's because of Ayoka uh, Lee and, and what I've been able to see. And sometimes in the poll, John, you know this, you're kind of hampered by who you've seen. And Texas mm-hmm. moved up four spots this week uh, on the strength of beating Iowa State, but they beat Iowa State without Ashley Jones. Now, mm-hmm. I know that might be the case all up and down the poll, but I know those things. So I have to vote on what I know in those cases, right? Right. Uh, I applaud you for your for your foresight on K State. Uh, <laughs> however, my applause is uh, muted by the fact that um, this whole podcast you've had a very wonky internet connection, and it's very it's been very Max Headroom like. And oh, and then if you man, look I'm at sorry. and then if you look at uh, John Werner over here, if you want to talk about Max Headroom, look at I mean, good gosh, John, get your video straight. So we're going to be back next week to provide <laughs> more high quality video content here at the trip. <laughs> well, we just need to have a Wi-Fi check before we start, as well yeah, as this go. information. You know, thirty-two points and forty-eight points. Good gosh, <laughs> it seemed like more. <laughs> It felt like more. Okay. Yeah, that's the way the mind works. Uh, Thanks, guys. And uh, we'll see all of y'all next week. All right.